Hi, in this video, we'll see how to work with managing metadata. Now, the workbook which I'm working is managing metadata. I'll be using the same Excel data file that is nothing but sample superstore. That's Excel file, which has three different uh, sheets which are given. So I've picked up the orders sheet in the canvas and where I, whereas I can see the different data here. Now I'll be jumping to this sheet one. Let's see how do we work with managing metadata. What are the things we'll be covering in this video is how do we hide and unhide the fields? How do we rename the different fields? How do I create different hierarchies of fields? If I want to create a hierarchy of city, state and the country, so I can create a hierarchy of that. If I want to create a folder where I can put all the different fields into one place, that also we'll see. How do I change the different data types? If you see there's ABC, there's a globe icon. If I want to change a data type from one thing to another thing, how do I do that? And the last we'll see how to work with calculating field. If I want to create a new field with some name, I can just create a field here itself and I can use at this place. Okay, so let's see that one by one. I'll start with how to hide and unhide a simple field itself. Suppose these are the different dimensions which are given. If I want to hide any one dimension, let's say if I want to hide this city, so I'll just click on this small drop down and I'll click on this hide button. So if I click on this hide button, you see that it has been grayed out now. Okay, same way if I go to this place country and if I click on this hide button, this also has been hidden. But still, why I'm able to see the hidden fields, actually if I click on hide, the field should be disappeared. The reason of this one is because if I click on this drop down, and if you see there's an option given as show hidden fields right now if i deselect that if i click on this show hidden fields now you cannot see that city and the other place if i want to show you all the fields which i've hidden again i'll click on this drop down this one and i'll say as show hidden fields now if i click on this you can see this city and country both the fields were hidden which were you can visible now now if i want to unhide the fields i'll do the same thing I'll just click on this drop down earlier the option was given as hide now I'll click on this unhide option and if you see it has been be became the same color again I'll click on this drop down and I'll click on this unhide option and you can see the, the the field is visible now itself right so this way you can hide and unhide the next one is if I want to rename any one field okay suppose if I want to rename and uh, this is the name given as customer name if you want to rename a field simply you can click on this drop down okay and there's an option given as rename so you just click on this rename i'll click on this rename here and i can type here as my customer name enter my customer name enter and you see the name has changed there's one more method which you can do is you have to slowly click on the field two times you have to slowly click on it I, I, what i mean to say is if you just click on this one okay and you see this option given as now it is in the edit mode simply you can just go back and remove this newly added thing okay now what happens if you double click very fast if you double click on this place customer very fast this field will come into your canvas or you can see the data is visible here it comes into the row card okay so therefore you should not click it very fast you have to click it very slow like this okay and again i'll just click on this place so now when you slowly click it comes into the edit mode and you can change the name of the field itself okay i'll just click outside here now if you want to create a hierarchy of different fields at one place what i mean to say as hierarchy is if you want to create a hierarchy of date you create as years months and then you create for days same way if you want to create a hierarchy of different locations you can create city state and the country same way if you want to create a hierarchy of let's say products you can create as category, subcategory and the product name. So these are different hierarchy examples which I can show. Now, sometimes there are some hierarchies which are given by default. For example, if I select this order date and if I put into the columns, okay, I've selected this order date and I've put in the columns. You see this is given as order date in the bracket is given as years. If I click on this plus sign and if you see it, it became as quarters. So these are the years and that these are the quarters in that particular year. If you try to expand, I'll just click on this plus sign and again it becomes as months. So you see the hierarchy of some date fields will be automatically given because the format of the all date fields is one and the same. If you want to minimize, you can just simply click on this minus sign. But sometimes if you want to create your own hierarchy, so how do you do that? So I'll just remove this first. I'll click remove it and drop it anywhere outside. Now if I want to create a hierarchy of let's say uh, subcategory and category. What I mean to say is there's one category, so I'll just drag and drop it here, okay? And if I just show you subcategory, I'll just drag and drop it here, 
okay now if you see there are some products which are divided into category furniture supplies office supplies and technologies so in that furniture i have sub categories which are given why not create one package or one hierarchy of all these two items okay so i'll just create package so i don't have to select all this option twice i can just select as category and it will be expanded so i'll just remove this first okay and i'll show you how to create a hierarchy so very first thing is i'll select this sub category drag it and i'll leave on to this option that is category i'll drag it and leave on this place and now it says the field name it says create hierarchy what is the name you want to give so the name i'll give as products why products because category and sub category these are nothing but the products so i'll create a products here okay i'll type as s here and i'll click on okay so now what has happened is i'll just show you on the top yeah this products and if you see the icon that's nothing but a hierarchy which has the category and the sub category both are into one place okay now what is the beauty of this hierarchy is you don't have to select both the fields at one time you can simply click and bring category here and if you see now you are getting as a plus sign so if you click on this plus sign or you can also call it as a drill down okay i'll just click on this plus sign or drill down so you see now it has come into one package that is category and sub category okay so this is the one method why by which you can use creating a category i'll just click on this minus sign sometimes if you want to add some more elements to this category or you can say as to this hierarchy so you can just simply drag and drop so i'll just pick up this product name and i'll drop it you see the line the horizontal line it says give me the position of the field where you want to drop position where you want to drop it so i'll put it as below the sub category okay below the sub category so what has happened is first you can see category sub category and third one will become as product name so if you expand i'll get as category now the main thing if you see i've got as plus sign okay if i expand this i can see this as product name okay because here the hierarchy is created here if you change the position of the elements for the dimensions into this hierarchy let's see if i just click on this minus sign if i drag it and drop it in between now it should show me as category product name and sub category so category and i'll see this one as product name and the third one it says as sub category so you can just simply drag and drop and you can change the position of this hierarchy itself so the the best thing is you don't have to pick up three different fields you just pick up one field and you can drop into the rows or columns all right now if you want to remove the hierarchy elements simply you just need to select it and drag it outside select it and you can just drag it outside so sim same way you can just drag and drop it outside the plus sign you can see that it has been removed from all the places because there's no other hierarchy there's no other uh, dimension in that hierarchy there's only one dimension okay or else the other method is you can just simply click on this drop down and you can see as remove hierarchy so the other option to remove hierarchy is click on this drop down click on remove hierarchy and the hierarchy will go away so always keep a best practice of creating hierarchy and you can just simply drag and drop it into this place as i said some fields are automatically created hierarchy let's say for as date fields okay now let us see if i want to create a hierarchy for city state and the country how do i do that the very easy method again i'll show you i'll just go in this place yeah so here what i'll do is i'll just pick up my country and i'll go into this city here itself and i'll give it as locations okay now if you see i've created as locations city country and there's one more field which i want to add it so i'll just drag down i'll scroll down and here it is a state so i'll go i'll pick up the state and put it between city and country okay this fields i don't want so i'll remove this fields right now and what i'll do is i'll pick up this locations and drag it and drop it into the rows fields okay so locations if you see i've picked up the entire hierarchy that is locations but i'm getting a city because the very first option is nothing but city i'll expand this city here i'll get a state i'll expand the state i'll get the country so all these options are given here okay if you want you can change the order of this options you can just simply drag and drop it here simply drag and drop it here okay and i'll just remove it now if you see that the country is united states if i maximize again i'm getting a states in united states this is the better one the earlier one was not the correct one 
So I'll just maximize and if you see the cities in that particular states are given here. So this way you can create a hierarchy. If you want to remove the hierarchy, simply click on this drop down, click on this remove hierarchy, all the options will go away. Okay. And uh, this was about the hierarchies. Now let's see if I want to create a folder where I will have all the dimension at one place. It will make my work easy because if you have n number of fields, it is difficult to find out which field you are interested in. So what I can do is I can create a folder where I can put all the dimensions where they are related to one thing into one place. So if I want to create a folder, I can simply right click on this place at this place here. I'll scroll down. Right click at the blank place and you can see there's option as group by folder. Group by folder and then right click and I'll say as create folder. So first thing is you need to create a group by folder and then you can click on this create a folder. And here I'll give the name as locations. The name of the folder is nothing but locations. If you scroll on the top, you see there's a folder as locations. What things I'll be putting in this locations, I'll, I'll insert the city, country and the state. So I'll just drag city put into the locations. Again, I'll pick up this country and the last one I'll pick up as state and I'll drop it into the same locations. Okay. So now it has become as folder. Why do I need to create a folder? Because it makes my work easy. If I just minimize this, it makes my work easy so that in this location, I'll have all the things related to location, city, state and the country. Same way, if you want to create another folder related to products, you can create it and you can add the dimensions into that particular folder. So it is easy for navigation part, the folders and hierarchies also. Right. So I hope you understood how to create a folder in this place. Now let us see if I want to search some particular field, if there are n number of fields at this place, I want to search some particular field. So it's difficult to find out, you see, it's difficult to find out. So what you can do is you can click on this small search button here at this top. Okay. At this place, you can just type as state. Okay. If you type here a state, you see only states are visible here. If you just put a backspace and if you want to type and search something else, you type as country. If you want, you type as category. So two, two things related to category will be visible. That is category and subcategory. So searching the dimensions or the fields is very easy with the help of this search box. So I'll just, if you want to remove this search box back again, simply click on this search box and it will go back. Now let us see the last one. If I want to create my own calculated field, these are the fields which I had in my database. The same fields are picked up and the same names are picked up. If I want to create some more field into my area, so there's, we have an option, we can create a calculated field. What you have to do is you have to simply right click on the blank space in the dimensions. You can right click on this blank space and you see there's an option given as create calculated field. So if you click on this create calculated field, it will ask what is the name you want to give it. So I'll give us a calculation one or you can give some other name as total. Okay. And what the total you want, you can just type here the total. So I'll just type a simple function. I want a total of, let's say I want total of sales and I want total of profit. So both these things I want. Okay. So what you can do is you can simply type as sum in bracket. You can write as sales and you have to click outside type as plus sum of profit. Okay. That's it. So here also there's some mistake that's given as the calculation contains error. So if you click on this drop down, it says reference to undefined field sales. So what I need to do is if you want to mention it as sales, you have to give it as S A L E S and in the drop down, if you see that's a number field, you have to press tab. So once you press tab, this is nothing but a field sum of sales plus sum of profit. This total will become into a, a, a new name field name will become as total and it will be visible here. So this is the easiest method by which you can create a field. Sometimes if you want some calculated or you can say some complicated fields, calculations, you can just click on this small icon. These are all the calculations, the formulas which you can use. You can pick up any one, let's say example as square root, standard deviation, str, sum and tan. You can pick up and use into your place. Right now, we'll not go in detail for this one. I'll just minimize this. And when I click on OK button, if you see apply, OK. Now, what happened is if you see there's a total which is given here, the in the measures it is given here. So what I'll do is I'll simply drag and drop it here in the rows field. Now, if you see, this is a total of the sales and the profit. 
if I want to compare the sales and profit also, I will pick up this sales and put it in this place or I can pick up this profit and put it in this place. Okay. So, if you see this is the profit which is 300, this is the sales which is 2 million which are given here and the calculation if you see that is 2 million plus 300,000 which are given. So, this is the total field which is given here. Okay. So, this way you can keep on creating your calculated field. I will just remove this, click outside. Right. So, these are some methods by which you can use for the creating a calculated field. Right. So, I hope you have understood how to work with this managing data. You can download this workbook below the video link, you will get it. So, what we have seen in this video is how do we hide and unhide the fields, how do we rename the fields, how do we create the hierarchies, Okay. how do we remove the hierarchies, creating different folders, removing the folders also and if I want to create some calculated field which I desire, I can create with the help of this method that is create calculated field. I hope you have understood all the things in this video, that is all for this video, thank you.